staples of the bladder. Yeah, it's all bladder. All right, so I feel for his pubic bone, and then one to two centimeters above. Usually in the midline, I'm gonna go slightly off. Um, midline is where we go. Okay, so you're drawing up a little bit of game. Yeah. There to numb him up, and do a little beta dine for. Mm -hmm. for cleaning the area you're going to use. So like I said, I did midline of two finger breadth above the pubic bone, and then um, I'll just go straight down. But it's kind of more, more like yeah, perpendicular. Yeah, perpendicular to yeah. the skin. Exactly. You feel a little prick, okay? And you just give yourself a pretty wide field of numbing then. Yeah. Okay. So the distance between the skin and the bladder here is probably how how many centimeters would you think? Um, everybody's different depending on how big they are. Yeah. Um, he's probably not too far. Okay. He's probably so the length of that needle may almost be. It may be almost enough, but the way you check is once you kind of allowed yourself to numb up a bit, you check your depth with a spinal needle. With a spinal needle. Through. So again, just trying to stay, stay like a full poke. You feel this? No, no, no. Okay. So you just want it to be deep enough okay. and wide enough for your show car. Okay. Which is that. Then I just confirm my trajectory. Aiming a little bit more towards the pelvis. Sure. And then you should be able to pull back on your end once you're in the right area. So this There's is some urine. urine. There we go. So I know that my bladder is right there. So how far down do you think your, your distance is going to be there? I mean, I'm getting it right here, right here, right here, all of that. So it's not going to be very far. Yeah, yeah. Because that's about that far in, so I'm not going to go much further than that. So I know my trajectory now. Okay. I know where I want to go. So... You have to always make sure that with this kit in particular that you're ready to go uh -huh. with your catheter because it's okay. really fast. So I like to make sure that's ready. Okay. Because once this gets in, you like the urine just starts flowing. It starts flowing out. Yes. And then so, so what do you hook up to it then? Uh, the catheter. And then you have to inflate it and then pull out this plastic choker. Okay. So it's just a bit messy for a while. Yeah. All right. So I know my trajectory already. I just go into my hole. I know I'm probably going about that deep. Okay. And then I just... So it's basically just pushing and taking a choke mm -hmm. line. There you go. There's my urine. Okay. And then I push a little bit more usually. Okay. Pull this down. Now what'd you ready. pull down? What'd you pull this, down? This uh, oh. tab. Okay. Pull this out. Oh, there goes the urine. And there oh my goes goodness. the urine. It's coming out fast. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. So you want to get it in fast enough because the, the bladder will decompress. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't, get away from you if you don't hurry. Yeah, absolutely. So then you're blowing it up. You put how many cc's in? Just 10. Just and 10. then you pull this and plastic choker up. Choke around and it strips away. Strips right away. Well, look at done. that. Okay. All done. That's it. Okay. It's so a lot more set up than the actual The actual procedure, procedure yeah. Like and we see the urine. Here's the urine just kind of pouring in here. But if he's had a huge bladder and he's... Uh, and um, and it's just you don't want it to not empty too fast. Or so it, so yeah, I personally there's all um, since there's no real rules to it. I know in terms of the um, yeah the diuresis. I personally, if it's a lot, I'll drain like half and then an hour drain more. But drain some more. Okay. Yeah. So in, in, do you suture this in? Yeah, I'm just gonna secure this with a little nylon stitch. It stays in for six weeks. Okay. Before the first change, first change is usually done in urology clinic, and after that, anybody could do it. Okay. Yeah. Usually we do it with a council tip catheter that has a hole at the end, so you can change it over the wire if needed. 
Yeah, usually I would use that instead of this catheter because oh, okay. then if it had to, if it, something happened that it came out part way, you could just feed a wire through it and make yeah. sure you keep that track. Okay. But it doesn't really matter after the first change. Okay. The urine looks a little bit cloudy. I wonder if it's. Yeah, I'm going to tell him to give him some more stuff in anyway because yeah. I was already instrumenting him down there. And, right, right. You know, a lot of instrumentation going on. Well, thanks for helping us. Let yeah, me, no let me worries. Do this video. I want to thank the patient for. You put a single stitch in there. No, yep, just one stitch down. And, 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 and then, then do you tie it, tie it around there then? Mm -hmm. Just like a chest tube yep. sort of thing. Hey, so what, what potential complications are there with this obviously missing the bladder. <laughs> yeah, the biggest worry is why, why we um, ultrasound is to see if it's both in the bowel yeah, or something right. so we don't want to go through the bowel. Other than that, I mean, same as any invasive procedure, there's always a risk of bleeding. You can hit something. Okay. That's why you want to stay more midline, you yeah. know, not to the side where you get yeah. the anterior gastrics of that crazy and lateral, so I don't think you'd ever get that. But yeah. It's mostly just worrying about bowel and making sure you know what's under there. That's why I was like a little bit off of midline because I know that there's a suture line that's kind of yeah. right in the midline. It's very close, but like I just went a little bit off midline yeah. just to make sure I avoided it. And then obviously infection would be another mm -hmm. bleeding infection or... Yeah. Yeah. All right, thanks. Thank you. How, how many, uh, how much have we gotten out of this bladder? So we're about 4,000 at this point. About 4,000? It just keeps going. Too, and it just so. keeps going. 4,000 ml. Look at that.